Hi everyone, welcome back to the garden. I think it's fair to say if you enjoy growing exotic style plants or maybe you've got a full on tropical garden that you learn to have to be patient. You really have to wait for the flowers. And yes, I grow dahlias, salvias, plants like that. Plants that start flowering around midsummer and keep going for months and months. But for the real exotics, the gingers, the cannas, you really have to wait until at least late summer, even early autumn before they really start going. However, there is a plant that you have to wait even longer, years to see it flower. And when it flowers, it dies. That's it, end of. So why would you want to grow it? The plant in question then, it's an agave. And if you don't know about them, they're vicious succulent plants that thrive in Mediterranean conditions. And they come in all different shapes and sizes. From smaller varieties like this one here, which is a very elegant little pot plant, through to huge examples. If you go down in Cornwall, there's some that are maybe three or four meters across. They're like giant octopus with huge spikes and the tentacles. Incredible things to see. But here in the north of England, there's only really a few varieties that we can successfully grow that don't really need winter protection. And firstly, you've got Parii, which is quite a small variety, it looks very nice. Secondly, you've got Avatafolia, which is icy blue, a seriously incredible plant. And thirdly, you've got Montana. Montana, I've done a video all about it. They can cope well with our wet winters, but then they thrive in our summers too. So these plants, they get really big, over a meter across and the presence they have in the garden it's seriously something to behold and the best ones that i've seen i think have got to be at pan global plants if you haven't heard of pan global plants then it's probably my favorite nursery it's an incredible place close to gloucester so for us it's a nice halfway point when you're going down to cornwall or coming back up so there's room in the car for plants got to think about it nick has developed an incredible nursery and i've got to say he stocks and sells every kind of weird and wonderful plant and it's one of those places where you can actually just go on the website, flick through, and for every kind of plant that you think you've heard of, he stocks the most amazing variety of it. Whether it's got unusual bark, huge leaves, incredible flowers, it's there. And when you go to the nursery, which I definitely would recommend, there's not just a plant sales area, there's a full on garden with it. So a lot of the plants that I grow here, the tetrapanax, huge waggy palms, bamboos, there's some great examples there. It's certainly worth a visit. And I last went around three years ago, 2019, and the agaves, I've got to say, they really were the highlight of the garden for me. The avatafolia, the montana, when you see them in person, something that's around that size, they almost look artificial. They're a plant that just for the sheer presence, the sheer weirdness of it, they're definitely worth growing. They're well worth saving one of those prime sunny spots in your garden for. But Kate over on Instagram, obviously you know Kate, I'll put a link to her profile in the description below. Kate used to volunteer at Pan Global Plants. And if you follow her on Instagram, she's got all kinds of unusual trees on there. So many incredible plants. I've got to say, when it comes to people putting effort into Instagram and really sharing a love of exotic and unusual, amazing plants, Kate's got to be up there. So definitely give her a follow. Agave Americana used to be known as a century plant because people believed it took that many years to flower. It was such a rare event. But we now know that they don't take quite as long as that. And a lot of varieties under certain conditions can actually flower a lot younger. The Montanas are pan global, they're 17 years old. So whilst there's only one flowering currently, who knows the rest might be flowering in the next couple of years. But seriously, when you actually think about that, 17 years, the plants are massive. And I think it's very easy to think of succulent, spiky plants as being quite slow growing, like a lot of cacti, quite static. But these Montana, they definitely size up. Sure, they're not as fast as the banana plants and palms, other things like that, but they're a plant that you'll notice it growing, sizing up every single year. And I know mine were only planted relatively small, but already they've doubled in size and it won't be many years before they really start looking impressive. But let's get back to the flowering one at Pan Global. This flowering then, it's a massive event and it takes up pretty much all the plant's store of energy, which is why it dies afterwards. The name for it is monocarpic, plants that only flower once or flower then die and agaves are a prime example of this. And it was around last September time when the plant started to change. Those middle leaves started to get taller, more narrow and it's obvious that something was happening. And this flower spike, I know it takes a lot of months to size up, but it still grows at quite a pace. And you can see in these photos now, as that spike's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, I'll be careful which metaphors that I use here, but seeing that spire rise towards the sky, it seriously is impressive. And that continued to grow through winter. 
Obviously, we were quite lucky to have a mild winter last year, and that meant that the spike wasn't damaged. The flowering might have slowed somewhat, but it kept continuing. And this year, that flower spike has kept going up and up and up towards the sky. I just think the look of it, it just looks alien-like, I suppose. Definitely alien-like, something prehistoric. It certainly fits the plant that it comes from. Seriously unusual. And as it races towards the sky, it started to branch out. And then around June time this year, the flowers started to open, attracting all kinds of insects, humming with bees around it. That flower spike, meters and meters tall, it seriously is such a sight. So honestly, yes, the agaves die. And yes, any agave, you'd be sad to see it go. But seriously, what a way to go. What an incredible plant event. So whilst I've got a lot of years of enjoyment left in my agaves, I am slightly excited about seeing that day when that flower spike starts to emerge and seeing such a spectacle here in my own garden. And the good news is, it's not all over when it flowers. Some agave leave loads of offsets and those can take the place of the main parent plant. Others like Montana, they set seed. So you've then got a whole new crop of Montana on the way. If you've got a sunny, well-drained spot in your garden and want to grow a plant that really has the wow factor, something that looks like it belongs in a David Attenborough documentary, then the Gavi is a great shout. If you want to grow one yourself, then I'll put a link in the description below to Pan Global Plants website. I don't think they've got Montana currently, but they should have a Vatifolia. Alternatively, my friend Vic from the European Palm Society, he's over on eBay at the Palm Grower, and I think he's got a Vatifolia and Montana currently. They're a plant that's well worth hunting out and that's well worth growing, because over the years it'll size up significantly, you've really got a centerpiece to exotic dry garden, and then when it does flower, something that everyone's gonna talk about. This video's just been a quick one, because I've had quite a busy weekend, although I have started filming and putting together my summer garden tour video, so that will be coming soon. I suppose if I put the effort into writing some kind of script for this video, I would end on a motivational note about how agave is a metaphor for life and how we all die, but we should go big and do something amazing. But that's not me, that's not gonna happen. So what I will say is go to Instagram, follow Kate for amazing plant pictures, follow Pan Global Plants for updates on that Montana, as well as all the incredible exotics there. Go over to Pan Global Plants even better and you'll see that plant now. I hear it's setting seed, but still an imposing sight. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.